In the previous video, I showed you how to write your first UI test using Espresso, or Espresso, sorry. So we tested uh, a main activity, which just has a title and a button, and also a secondary activity, which also has a title and a button. So basically what we just did is we said, you know, uh, is the activity launching? Is the text visible up here? Is the button visible? Just the most kind of basic things possible. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're just coming into this, into this video for the first time, you haven't watched any of the previous videos, uh, just go to my YouTube channel, Coding with Mitch, and search for the Espresso Testing Playlist for Beginners, or go to codingwithmitch.com and the, the, the course is on there as well, and it's free. You just got to register an account and you can watch the course. Uh, it'll keep track of your progress, all that kind of stuff, and it's completely free. So just, just uh, to let any of you know who are just coming into this video without watching any of the previous ones. So in this video now, what we're going to do is we're going to test uh, activity navigation. So uh, as you saw in the sample here, we have a main activity. When I click the next button, I'm taken to a secondary activity. So what we want to do is we want to use that, um, that activity scenario, the thing that we used in the previous video, and we want to, we want to, we want to tell it to click the button and then determine if that second activity was launched and if it's actually visible. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So I'm carrying on from the code that we were looking at from the previous video. So I have, you know, main activity test in here. I have secondary test. Uh, again, if you're coming into this video for the first time and you don't, you weren't here for those tests, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'll actually, I'll actually even just delete this stuff. Um, again, all the code, I don't think I mentioned it, but the code for this video is going to be in the description. Links to all of the code for all of the other videos will also be in the description. So I'll, I'm going to delete all the tests. We're going to start fresh um, the secondary activity test we'll also have no test. So we have, we have absolutely nothing in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write the test to launch main activity and then click that next button and navigate to the second activity. So I'm going to click alt insert here to insert a new test function. And this test function is going to be called test underscore nav secondary activity activity. So inside of here, we need our activity scenario like we always do. So calling that uh, activity scenario dot launch function, referencing main activity, the main activity class. So this is a simulated, um, like a sandbox, I guess, activity that we're launching inside of this test environment. Now I want to do, I want to, I want to trigger that click. So I'm going to write on view with ID r.id.button next activity. So just so you know, for those of you who don't know, aren't familiar with the layout, the ID of this button right here is button next activity. So that's the ID of this button right here. So I'm, I'm determining, I'm finding that button, and now I'm going to trigger a click. So how do we trigger a click? We can call perform and then just click. So click and then initialize that, and we want to get that import. So that will click the button on the UI. Now I want to determine if that activity, that secondary activity is in view. So I can do on view with ID r.id.secondary. And for those of you who are just coming into this video and didn't watch the previous video, this ID is the ID of the parent layout inside of activity secondary. So if I open this here, notice that that's this right here, the, the ID of this constraint layout, which is the parent of this entire layout is secondary. So that is the ID or the, the view that I'm referencing right here. So now what I want to do is I want to check if this matches is displayed. So all I'm doing is I'm checking if it's actually in view. And that is, that's our test. That's all we need to do to test if the, uh, the, the main activity comes into view, I can click the button and then I can navigate to that, that secondary activity. So before we move forward and we actually check, check the back navigation, let's run this. So I'm going to right click on this, go to run main activity test, and let's see if the test passes. All right. It's instantiating the tests. Everything's getting started. I'll pull this up a little bit here. So there you can see it's running and we should see a pass. So there's our test passing. Great, so that's good. So now the second thing that we wanna test is we wanna test the back navigation. So if I go to the application, um, remember if I go next, that takes me to the secondary activity, but if I press the back button, I should get taken back to main activity. So how do we test that? That's gonna be our next test. So coming on into our main activity test class, I'm gonna scroll down to give myself some more room, pressing Alt Insert again, inserting a new test function, and this is gonna be called back press to main activity. So pretty obvious what, that, uh, what that's gonna do. So again, we need our activity scenario. We always need an activity scenario. This launches uh, kind of like a fake, a simulated activity 
with Espresso. So I'm going to call main activity and reference the class. So that'll launch our activity. Now I want to again click the button. So I'll actually just copy this because it's going to be the same kind of thing to start off with. So I want to click the button, navigate to secondary activity, make sure secondary activity is in view. And now I want to press the back button. So I can do this two ways. I can either I can either click the, the back button in secondary activity, or I can click the back arrow here. So I'll show you how to do both ways, both those ways. So method number one is we want to look for the, the view with the ID of that, that uh, back button. So button back, that is the back button in the middle of the view. I'll just point it out again, just so you know, that's the ID of this button right here. So I'm looking for that, and then I'm just going to perform a click on it. So perform, and then click. So this will be method one. Uh, method two will be to actually just call press back. So if I call get the import for the Android X test espresso, that will press the back button on the device. So this, this is method number two. Either one will work. Uh, I'm gonna test method number two, but you can choose, you can use uh, whichever one you like. And then to finish things off here, we just wanna confirm that main activity is in fact back into view. So r.id.main, I want to check if that matches is displayed. So if, for those of you who are just watching this video, you didn't watch the previous video, this ID is the parent layout of activity main. So this right here. So just checking if that is in view. So that's gonna be our test. I'm gonna go up here again, right click, go to run the test, and we'll see if everything passes. All right, tests are beginning to start. Starting to run, nav secondary activity. That one passes, that's good. Now it's doing the second one. Should take just a few seconds and there we go. So all of our tests pass, everything is working as we expected. So that is gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show you a simple example of how to, um, I guess, actually a couple, couple of things we learned here was, uh, number one is how to click a button and then how to navigate to a new activity and also how to press the back button. So those are, those are the things that we tested in this video. I'm just gonna take a look at my, um, my lecture outline here and see what we're, doing, what we're going to be doing next. So next it looks like we're gonna be doing test suites. So test suites are, um, they refer to the ability to run multiple test classes uh, kind of in one click. You know, like you could have many test different test classes, main activity test, secondary activity test. Uh, as you can imagine in a real application, you're gonna have any number of fragments, any number of activities, whatever. You're gonna have lots of test classes, basically. Well, with a test suite, you can bundle those test classes together so that they can run kind of all at once, and then you'll get either a pass or fail grade based on all of those tests um, ran together. So that is what we're gonna take a look at in the next video. Again, if, if this is your first uh, video you're watching this course, this is part of a espresso testing course for beginners. I, I'm posting it to YouTube and also my website, codingwithmitch.com. So if you want to watch the rest of the course, go to you, my YouTube channel, Coding with Mitch. Just search for the playlist uh, Espresso Testing for Beginners or Espresso. You'll see it there. Or go to my website, codingwithmitch.com and look for the courses. It's a free course, so anybody can watch it. And um, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.